Hi folks, today we're going to be going over venting of slides and barrels and we're going to be going over slide lightning. Hi folks, Bob Server from Fusion Firearms again. Um, t we're getting a lot of questions um, through our email and that on, on uh, porting basically, on different styles of slide lightning and uh, barrel porting. And um, a lot of people ask me, do I like it? You know, what, what do I like about it? What don't I like about it? The pros and cons. And um, so we'll go over that today. Um, I guess one of the biggest issues I see is people want barrels ported. Um, and the, you know they want them. They want the barrels to be uh, ported, so you know for recoil issues. Um, I'm not a big fan at that. With putting holes in the barrels. Now porting itself, um, I'll give you some history. Um, you know, came about really for shotguns. It was really made for shotgun shooting for guys that you know were, were shooting different type of uh, you know sporting clay type games, and it became real popular. Shotguns. Then you started seeing it coming into the you know the realm of rifles and handguns. Um, the the problems I see, okay, with with it, you're better off really going with a uh, compensator style on a handgun. A shotgun, fine, porting is not an issue because you're not looking, your accuracy uh, demands are much different on a rifle um, or, a, or a pistol or revolver versus a shotgun. So um, also um, some of the things I've seen with porting of barrels, um, I've seen cracking around the porting of the barrels. Um, that's another big problem that I've seen. Uh, they'll EDM or they'll mill. Generally, it's an EDM process where they'll EDM into the barrel. And I've seen stress cracks, uh, you know, evolve right around those edges uh, on the corners of the porting. So that's one thing that you got to look for. Most of the porting is a, a geometric, a geometric uh, trapezoid. So um, it, you'll end up on those corner edges with stress cracks. And I have seen barrels that have cracked and you follow the crack and it's right to those corners. So that's just one thing that you want to be aware of uh, about barrel porting. Uh, what other negatives do you have for barrel porting? Quite a few. And, and to be honest, I'm not a fan of barrel porting for um, rifles um, or pistols um, or revolvers. I would rather see people go with a compensator um on the end or you know flash suppressor or something like that nature you're it's much better especially the compensators if you're looking for recoil um so let's go into porting why don't i like why doesn't bob like porting well a few reasons one it makes a weak spot in the barrel which i've already explained and you will see some barrel cracking at times um number two um effect you know one thing people don't understand with compensators or barrel porting is that you're going to get a lot more muzzle blast okay back to the shooter you're also going to get a lot more noise um, one thing that affects shooters that i have seen in the majority is the is not so much recoil most people can handle the recoil of a firearm what comes up is the muzzle blast um, and the noise which ends up you know especially in experienced shooters that that will shake them up more and, and make their their shooting less accurate and more shaky so um, the muzzle blast is a big concern the noise is a big concern um, the the you know the structural integrity of the barrel is a big concern and then uh, you know the other is that depending on how um, it is being done like again in a 1911 you're gonna have a slide with ports and you're gonna have a barrel at ports Okay, so depending on the ammo that you're shooting, um, you'll see all types of crud that will develop and debris down inside the slide that's getting blown back into the slide and things of that nature. So that's, that's one thing you want to look at. Now, you know, from my old Dan Wesson days, uh, Dan Wesson in the past, um, years ago, used to make uh, ported barrels, which they would actually uh, port the slide and port the barrel. And if you're, you're familiar with a Dan Wesson barrel assembly on a revolver, 
um, it is in, um, you know, you have a barrel nut, you actually thread it into the frame and then you have a barrel nut that ends up retaining the shroud um, on the receiver. So what will happen is again, you'll have all types of, of debris blowing back in the, in the shroud and around the barrel compacting in that area. And then what does that do? It leads to all types of problems. Um, you know, one, just accuracy wise, I've, I, you know, again, you know, you're, you're, you're not looking for as much accuracy with a shotgun as you are pinpoint accuracy with a pistol revolver <clears throat> or excuse me, a rifle. Um, and one thing you have is a shave point uh, where you will see if you ever see a, a rifle or a pistol that is, is actually ported in the barrel, you know, you'll see all types of shaved lead and copper and things of that nature in that, in that area. And, and again, what is that doing to the geometry of your bullet? Well, obviously, as that thing shaves copper or brass or, or the uh, lead off of one side of the bullet, um, your bullet's unbalanced because one side now is, you know, concentricity's out uh, slightly, it could be, but obviously the weight is going to be off on one side than the other. Uh, giving you less accuracy. Um, so, so again, that's just one thing to look at. You know, people say, well, how much debris, you know, will get blown back in there? <laughs> well, you know, I have had people send me uh, revolvers in that they had the entire shroud stuck on the barrel where you could not get it off, that they have soaked it in all types of lead solvents, everything else. And, you know, we'd, we'd have to actually bore the barrel out you know, and, and and bore the barrel nut out to relieve everything, get pound the shroud off because it was so compacted with lead and debris inside. Um, and, you know, you could usually sh save the shroud, uh, but you generally will not save the barrel. <laughs> so just one of those things and we'd have to replace the barrel. So, so again, all that debris is gonna be inside of, of your working mechanism. So again, that's just a real big negative. Um, positives, you know, I, 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 when I look at all the different compensators that are available out there, um, I don't see a lot of positives for actually uh, venting or porting a barrel in a rifle or, or, a, or a pistol of some sort, revolver. It just, it, to me, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense um, because there's so many you know, good uh, compensators and things on the market that actually, you know, will do the same job, if not better. Um, and you can actually unscrew those off the barrel if you don't want it or something of that nature. So, and again, we'll get into those uh, in future uh, videos and that, but it's, you know, it's just an apparatus that screws onto the end of the barrel like this. It has ports, it has a gas chamber and relieves the gases to give you a little bit less recoil. Some of them are ported up, some of them are ported out. Um, again, that was a, another thing I missed uh, on the negatives of porting. Um, you know, obviously if you're ported back in here and you're firing the pistol, you're not gonna be able to see the sights real good from the smoke, from the, from the gunpowder, or you know, the, 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 the fouling or anything else from the bullets. So again, it's going to impede your, your actual sighting plane also. So again, you know, there's a lot of negatives on porting a, a barrel itself. So one thing we do, and it's very popular here at Fusion, is slide lightning. What is slide lightning? You know, it's basically putting in these vents. Um, and, you know, when people say, well, what mechanical advantage does it have? Well, it does lighten the slide somewhat. Um, so it does give it a little bit of mechanical advantage for that, especially with the lighter caliber, such as a nine millimeter, um, you know, which depending on your loads might not have enough uh, um, energy to, you know, bring the slide all the way back. So, so again, you know, it does have some purpose. Um, mostly it looks real nice and a lot of people like to look, um, they like, you know, they like to look either in a stainless slide with a stainless barrel or a lot of people like to do a blackout style gun and then go with a stainless barrel on the inside. It just really shows out real well. And, and it just makes for a real attractive 1911. So it's just one of those things that, you know, some people love it, some people don't, um, but it is an option for you. Um, so again, I'm, I, I'm not a real big fan of porting because we get so many people that, you know, send their slides in or buy slides from us and want the venting or the, the actual lighting done to the actual slides. 
And then they ask, oh, can you port the barrel also? And I usually say no. Um, I always say no. Uh, because it's just something that we don't want to get into and I really don't see a good advantage for you the customer either and there's too many disadvantages for you so um, again if you're really looking for some type of uh, you know recoil compensation um, so, uh, you know then you know or, or for the muzzle flip then you know go with a compensator because there is there's just a lot of good compensators out there you know we have some here at fusion we have some also new designs coming out plus there's a vast variety out there on the internet market you can go look at and, and see what's you know what's good for you so again that's where i kind of stand on the on the, the the slide lightning and the porting of the barrels um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and, you know, we'll get to them for you guys. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving us on the YouTube channel. It's grown like crazy. And, um, this has been a booming year for us here at uh, Fusion Firearms and we appreciate all your customer support. Thank you very much.